Here is a pretty simple trick for coming up with better ideas. Why do you ever have a brainstorm? Well, because we need new ideas, generally so that we can do new stuff and stay ahead of the competition. And you know, if you really need new ideas, there's this thing called the four Ps of creativity, which is really, really useful. A psychologist from America came up with the idea in the 1960s, and it's a framework for understanding what creativity is. But it's also actually a really useful thinking tool for coming up with ideas. Now picture the brainstorm. Everyone's standing around waiting for cues from the big dog so they know what to say and what not to say. But what are you normally being asked? Well, to come up with a good idea, of course, but that generally tends to end up being a thing, a product. So let's think about that in a slightly different way, because it's not always that we need new things. Sometimes it's the stuff around the thing, so to speak, that needs to change. Now, the four Ps are the product, the process, the people, and the press. Now, the thing is, of course, the product. We can't always be coming up with new products. I mean, yes, businesses pivot and change all the time, but it's a mistake to always assume that we need a new widget. Maybe what you need to be doing is thinking about changing the process. How do we make the thing? What is the methodology? What is the approach, the starting point? And what are the different steps? Can any of those be innovated? Maybe we need to be thinking about the people who makes the product. How are they trained? What do they know? What kind of people are they? Who is in the team? Do we need to rethink the composition of the group of people that combine to run the process, which ends up making the product? And last and mostly overlooked is the press, which is the term that Mel uses to refer to the overall environment in which the product is made and the creativity takes place. But E doesn't start with a P, so it's press, right? And here you need to think about not just the physical environment, the space or the location where something is made, but also the psychological or the mental environment which is around. If we changed the atmosphere which our team worked in when they ran the process to make the product, would we get up with a better result or a different end result? If we change location, if the office was a nicer place to be, would we get more engagement? Would we then end up with better processes, better products, and, and better people? So as you can see, it's four really simple pillars, the product, the press, the process, and the people, and if you tweak any of them, you're going to tweak the end product. So next time you're in a brainstorm and you're thinking really hard about how can we innovate, change and grow our business, don't just think about the product. Let's have a good look at the process, the people and the environment around it as well. And remember to rebel and reject so that you can create new stuff.